Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we work a problem from the Water Resources Depth section of the Civil PE exam. So let's dive in. Which of the following are associated with primary treatment in the overall wastewater treatment process? So if we turn to the PE reference handbook, and at the time of this recording, we're using version 1.2 of the reference handbook, we don't see anything specifically that gives us an overview of the primary treatment process or even the wastewater treatment process in general. So this is an example of a concept problem from water resources, probably geared most likely to the depth portion of the exam, that we're expected to know coming into the exam. We're expected to know the general process of how wastewater treatment overall looks, right? So we have influent coming in, right? And it goes through primary treatment and that's going to treat like your physical debris and contents in that influent. So that's going to deal with things such as uh, any debris, like litter, stuff like that, big items, wipes, and then some of the sediment settle out and then ultimately will produce a sludge. So you can think of these as like physical. So physical is primary, right? P and P might be a way to remember that. You know, sludge will settle out. And then what's going to happen is primary treatment produces a homogeneous liquid that will then go to secondary treatment and the secondary treatment processes are more chemical processes. So you can think of the secondary, so we said all of this went with the primary, right? And then the secondary treatment processes are more chemical based, right? And then it would go on further in the wastewater treatment process. So for the sake of time, we'll just focus on the primary treatment process. So let's look at the Roman numeral choices to determine the right answer to this problem. So which of the following are associated with the primary treatments? So let's stay on task and look at these choices. So Roman numeral one, removal of coarse, settable solids, fats, oils, and grease. So yes, that is involved in primary treatment. Some of these physical things, like we said, the coarse particles, Settable solids, fats, oils, greases, those can be eliminated in primary treatment before that liquid goes on to secondary treatment. Removal of colloidal and dissolved solids. Well, dissolved solids and colloidal solids are within that wastewater influence stream coming in. They remain in it in primary treatment and continue on to secondary treatment untouched. These are handled in secondary treatment, not primary. So Roman numeral two. It's not applicable. Roman numeral three, production of sludge that can be processed separately. So yes, in that primary treatment process, these items that we talked about that settle out, settle out into this sludge that's then handled separately. So yes, Roman numeral three applies to primary treatment. Roman numeral four, production of a heterogeneous liquid that can be further treated. Well, we said, yes, the goal of primary treatment is to produce a liquid that could go on to secondary treatment, but it's a homogeneous liquid that's produced. Roman numeral choice four says heterogeneous. We want a homogeneous liquid being produced for that statement to be true. So Roman numeral four is not correct. We need to be careful and read it carefully. The heter heterogeneous versus homogeneous, that could throw us off if we're not careful. So... That leaves us with Roman numerals 1 and 3. And looking at the answer choices, that is answer choice B. And we've successfully solved this problem. So I hope that helped you. And if you're looking for more practice as you prepare for your civil PE exam, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out our ultimate civil PE breadth and depth review courses. And we'll see you there.